U.S. fighter jets have shot down an unidentified object over Alaska. The Pentagon says President Biden gave the order after it was detected yesterday. It's unclear what the object was, but officials say it was the size of a small car. Amidst the towering mountains and icy creeks of Alaska, a discovery has been made that defies all logic and reason. But what could be so terrifying that the government is resorting to extreme measures to suppress it? Who are the brave souls uncovering this mystery? And what challenges do they face in their pursuit of truth? Join us as we unravel some of the most terrifying activities emerging in Alaska and how the U.S. government is leaving no stone unturned in an attempt to shut it down. Unraveling the darkest secrets of the Denali National Park. Alaska, with its vast wilderness and rugged terrain, has long been a magnet for adventurers and explorers seeking to uncover its secrets. Its history is rich with tales of gold rushes, native cultures, and unexplained phenomena, adding to its allure as a land of mystery. Within Denali National Park and Preserve, previously known as Mount McKinley National Park, the National Park Service faces a multitude of intriguing cases each year. While many incidents end with lost hikers being found within a day, there are rare instances where individuals seemingly vanish without a trace. Despite extensive search efforts involving helicopters, smell dogs, and specialized teams, these disappearances remain baffling. The Investigative Services Branch ISB of the National Park Service plays a crucial role in unraveling these mysteries. Their special agents are tasked with investigating cold cases, missing persons reports, and unsolved crimes that elude conventional law enforcement methods. However, the challenges they face are immense, intensified by the harsh and unforgiving conditions of Alaska's wilderness. From encounters with elusive wildlife to navigating disloyal terrain, the ISB agents brave the elements in their quest for answers. Yet its vastness and remoteness make their job all the more discouraging, with some cases stretching back decades, hidden in mystery and intrigue. Despite the romanticized image of detectives in flat hats scouring the landscape for clues, the reality is a relentless pursuit of truth amidst the untamed wilderness. The Investigative Services Branch, SB faces numerous challenges in their quest for answers amidst the abundant wildlife and unpredictable weather of national parks. Despite exhaustive searches, physical evidence is often scarce, leaving investigators with little to go on. In a recent case, 41-year-old Nathan Campbell embarked on a mission deep into Denali National Park, equipped with basic camping gear and a determination to uncover the truth. His destination, Cary Lake, rumored to harbor a mysterious underground structure known as the Black Pyramid. This massive structure, speculated to rival the size of Egypt's Great Pyramids, has long been hidden in conspiracy theories. Some believe it holds such immense power that it's deemed a matter of national security, prompting the erasure of all traces from satellite imagery. While the region around Cary Lake has been traversed for generations by bush pilots, trappers, and locals, few references to the Black Pyramid exist in official records. Campbell's journey into the Alaskan wilderness aligns with the dark realm of conspiracy theories where logic twists with speculation. The Black Pyramid's purported significance echoes the anxiety surrounding military installations in Alaska, such as the controversial high-frequency active auroral research program, HARP, near Fairbanks. HARP is either a scientific research facility or a tool for controlling global events. Moreover, the strategic location of Cary Lake adds another layer of intrigue. General Billy Mitchell, a pioneer in the U.S. Air Force, recognized its strategic importance in the 1930s, envisioning it as a launch pad for military operations spanning major urban centers across the Northern Hemisphere. As Nathan Campbell delves deeper into the Alaskan wilderness in search of the Black Pyramid, he joins a long line of adventurers drawn to the mysterious excitement of the unknown. His journey encapsulates the blend of curiosity, skepticism, and determination that characterizes those who dare to uncover the secrets hidden within Alaska's vast and mysterious landscape. Adding to the mystery surrounding the Black Pyramid is its alleged connection to ancient civilizations and extraterrestrial beings. 
Some theorists suggest that the structure predates human history, pointing to ancient texts and folklore that describe similar monuments in remote regions around the world. The notion of an ancient, advanced civilization buried beneath the Alaskan wilderness fuels speculation about the true nature of the pyramid and its potential implications for humanity's understanding of history and the cosmos. Furthermore, the secrecy surrounding military activity in Alaska's remote regions fuels speculation about the true purpose of the Black Pyramid. While official records may offer little insight into the structure's existence, unreliable accounts from locals and travelers hint at its significance. Interestingly, tales of strange lights, unusual activity, and encounters with mysterious figures have recently emerged, further deepening the mystery surrounding the pyramid and its purported role in secret operations, the unexplained mysteries surrounding Alaska's Black Pyramid. It was during the early 1990s that compelling evidence surfaced, hinting at the existence of the mysterious Black Pyramid nestled below the remote reaches of interior Alaska. This revelation arises from the careful analysis conducted by scientists studying the shock waves generated by a Chinese underground nuclear test in 1992. Within the extraordinary data, a peculiar anomaly resembling a pyramid-shaped structure was detected, buried approximately 700 feet below the surface. Despite rigorous scrutiny, the age, origin, and purpose of this mysterious structure remained elusive, enveloped in an aura of enigma and intrigue. However, the veil of secrecy surrounding the Black Pyramid began to lift on July 26, 2012, when esteemed journalist and renowned UFO specialist Linda Moulton Howe unveiled its existence during a captivating broadcast on the esteemed Coast to Coast AM radio show. Howe's groundbreaking revelation sent shockwaves through the public consciousness, igniting passion of speculation and fascination. While skeptics questioned the pyramid's purported ancient origins, Howe's investigative prowess delved deeper into the mystery of Alaska's infamous Alaska Triangle, a region synonymous with unexplained disappearances of ships, aircraft, and individuals. With an estimated 18,000 documented disappearances within the Alaska Triangle since 1988, the area had become a hotbed of speculation and mystery fueling her determination to uncover the truth. In a riveting twist of fate, she aired a pre-recorded conversation with Doug Mutchler, a retired U.S. Army counterintelligence agent, whose first-hand account shed light on the events leading to the discovery of the Black Pyramid and its secret connections to the U.S. military. His journey began in the remote wilderness of Alaska, where he embarked on a quest to unravel the secrets buried beneath the rugged terrain. Transferred from Alaska to Fort Meade, the hallowed grounds of the National Security Agency, his involvement in the pyramid investigation took on a newfound urgency. Armed with classified information, he confirmed the existence of the pyramid, unveiling its pivotal role within the realm of national security. Yet, his pursuit of the truth was not without obstacles, as he encountered resistance and obfuscation from within the highest rank of authority. Despite facing adversity, his unwavering determination and commitment to uncovering the truth propelled him forward, offering a tantalizing glimpse into the hidden mysteries lurking beneath Alaska's unpolluted wilderness. Instead, he was instructed that any relevant information could be found in containers labeled X, Y, or Z. Acting on this guidance, he conducted a thorough search of the designated area. Although he did not stumble upon any explicit references to pyramids, he did stumble upon intriguing information related to Alaska from two separate sources. As he settled down to review the findings, two individuals approached him unexpectedly. They briefly advised him that such information was irrelevant to his inquiry, implying that he should refrain from delving further. Despite this discouragement, his determination remained unwavering. Mutchler later recounted an intriguing development involving a local NBC affiliate. Allegedly, 
the station aired a report detailing the discovery of the building approximately six months after the initial investigation. However, when he sought to obtain a copy of the report from the station, he was met with denials. The station claimed that the report had not been broadcasted, and they were unable to provide a copy. Nevertheless, the narrative took an unexpected turn following Howe's interview with him. Soon after the interview aired, the son of a former Western electric engineer reached out to Howe, corroborating Mutchler's assertions and offering additional insights. According to this new source, between 1959 and 1961, his father had been involved in a project concerning a powerful electrical system emanating from a massive underground pyramid of unknown origin in Alaska. Subsequent to his wartime service, the father pursued studies in electrical engineering and physics. Following his recruitment into the military and subsequent involvement in the team tasked with studying the Black Pyramid, he recounted his experiences, highlighting the government's stringent measures to maintain secrecy surrounding the project. But there were many more mind-boggling secrets that Mutchler was soon to come in contact with, revealing the deepest government secrets. After his recruitment in the military, Mutchler recounted his experiences. He underscored the government's high regard for the project and the elaborate steps they took to ensure its secrecy. Despite initially assuming it was a military installation, he later learned it was a secret research endeavor focused on energy distribution. Over time, he became a primary source of information for AT&T a telecommunications giant that played a pivotal role in shaping modern web and cell phone technologies. In his later years, he frequently lamented about his electricity bills, often remarking that energy could be freely accessible if the truth were known to the public. This hints at a deeper level of insight and involvement than previously believed. Regrettably, much of this knowledge remains covered in secrecy, as he acknowledged that the information he possessed was classified. Consequently, there may be limited or no accessible records regarding the discovered pyramid from 1992. If indeed the existence of this pyramid is genuine, it raises the possibility that government agencies were aware of its presence long before its public discovery, suggesting extensive efforts to conceal its existence. Linda Moulton Howe also asserts that an ancient pyramid lies approximately 80 kilometers southwest of Mount McKinley, covered in mystery and intrigue. This pyramid, believed to be constructed by an advanced civilization whose identity remains a mystery, has become the subject of various conspiracy theories. Howe suggests that the pyramid's existence may be linked to secret government projects, global warfare strategies, and the influence of ancient extraterrestrial beings, fueling speculation and fascination among conspiracy theorists and adventurers alike. The legend of the Black Pyramid, as it came to be known, captivated the imagination of many, including Campbell, who may have based his summer expedition around this enigmatic structure. However, Campbell's quest took a sinister turn when he mysteriously disappeared on October 1st, 2020 adding another layer of intrigue to the ongoing search for the Black Pyramid. While the pyramid's location remains elusive, the allure of the Alaska Triangle, an area notorious for unexplained disappearances and paranormal phenomena, only adds to the mystique surrounding the region. Since its inception in 1972, the Alaska Triangle has been a hotbed of speculation and conspiracy theories, stretching from Anchorage to Juneau to UT Kajich, on Alaska's northern coast. More than just a geographical anomaly, this area has witnessed over 16,000 disappearances since 1988, with an unusually high rate compared to the national average. These unexplained vanishings, coupled with reports of missing planes, boats, and baffling UFO sightings, have fueled a plethora of theories and urban legends. Among the mysterious incidents associated with the Alaska Triangle, is the baffling disappearance of House Majority Leader Hale Boggs and Alaska Representative Nick Begich in 1972. Boggs, who had agreed to assist Begich in his re-election campaign, vanished without a trace on October 16, 1972, leaving behind unanswered questions and a trail of speculation. But there's more to Alaska than the mystery of the Black Pyramid 
as this mysterious region is also home to the infamous Alaska Triangle. Mysterious Disappearances in the Alaska Triangle The Alaska Triangle is one region that has fascinated scientists and historians for long. Very recently, Russell Brown, a special assistant in the U.S. Air Force and pilot, Don Jones, embarked on their journey from Anchorage in a Cessna C-310 aircraft, aiming to reach Juneau for an election rally that held significant importance. The weather conditions forecasted for their route were dangerous, characterized by turbulent winds, limited visibility, and the threat of icing, adding an extra layer of risk to their flight. Despite his experience, pilot Don Jones was renowned for his daring nature, often taking calculated risks in his flights. Just 10 minutes after their departure, Jones communicated with the tower, providing an update on their progress. However, after this communication, all contact with the aircraft was lost, plunging it into a state of mystery and uncertainty. When the scheduled arrival time in Juneau passed without the Cessna C-310's landing, alarm bells were raised, prompting an extensive search and rescue operation that spanned 39 days. Despite the efforts of 400 aircraft involved in the search, including both military and civilian resources, no trace of the missing plane was ever found. The absence of any tangible evidence only deepened the mystery surrounding the disappearance, leading to an excess of conspiracy theories. Among the most prominent was the speculation that J. Edgar Hoover might have orchestrated foul play, possibly planting a bomb on the plane to silence one of the passengers, whose intentions threatened to reopen sensitive investigations, such as the Kennedy assassination. This perplexing incident stands as one of the most enigmatic cases linked to the Alaska Triangle, a region notorious for its daunting landscape and notorious history of vanished aircraft. With its towering mountains, treacherous ice, thick forests, and vast ocean expanses, Alaska presents a formidable challenge to pilots navigating its skies. The vanishing of planes in this remote expanse has fueled speculation and saga weaving an intricate fabric of intrigue around the mysteries of the last frontier. In some instances, hikers have stumbled upon the wreckage of downed planes decades after their disappearance, offering unnatural reminders of past tragedies. Conversely, fishermen have occasionally spotted seat protections or other plane waste washed ashore, hinting at the final resting place of the aircraft and the fate of its occupants. However, there are perplexing cases such as the Boggs Beak flight, where search teams have scoured vast areas but found no remnants of the missing plane or its passengers, leaving their disappearance covered in mystery. One of the most intriguing aviation mysteries involves the vanishing of two Douglas C-54 Skymasters on January 26, 1950. One of these military aircraft, departing from Elmendorf Air Force Base in Anchorage, en route to Great Falls, Montana, carried a total of 36 passengers and eight crew members, including military personnel and their dependents. Despite the pilot's anticipation of clear skies for most of the journey and routine communication with ground stations, the plane vanished as it crossed into the Yukon Territory of Canada. Despite intensive search efforts involving the U.S. Army, U.S. Air Force, Canadian military and civilian aircraft, no trace of the missing Douglas C-54 Skymaster was ever found. Intriguingly, a Canadian forest ranger reported witnessing a low-flying plane near Snag, Yukon Territory, shortly before its disappearance. The ranger recounted hearing a sudden explosion followed by columns of black smoke, yet despite the sighting, no evidence of the downed aircraft was discovered in the area. Experts have speculated about the potential causes of the disappearance, considering factors such as sudden structural failure, navigational errors, or crew incapacitation. But aside from the mysterious disappearance of airplanes, Alaska has also become the center stage for yet another shocking anomaly. Shocking UFO Encounters in Alaska On September 9, 2013, Alan Foster, a highly experienced charter pilot, embarked on a routine flight from Atlanta to Anchorage in his newly purchased PA-32-360 aircraft. 
Despite being a mere 360 miles away from his destination, Foster decided to make a pit stop in Yakutat, Alaska to refuel before continuing his journey. After departing from Yakutat, Foster's aircraft mysteriously vanished from radar screens. In the subsequent search efforts, one of the notable challenges encountered was the absence of an emergency locator transmitter ELT beacon on Foster's aircraft. This device, when activated, emits a distress signal to aid search and rescue teams in locating a downed aircraft. Foster's failure to register an ELT beacon hindered search efforts and added to the mystery surrounding his disappearance. Alan Foster's case is just one of many puzzling incidents associated with the Alaska Triangle, a region known for its mysterious disappearances and unexplained phenomena. Alongside Foster's disappearance, reports of UFO sightings in the area have contributed to the region's enigmatic reputation. One of the most compelling UFO encounters occurred near Fairbanks on November 17, 1986, involving Japan Airlines Flight 1628. This flight, en route from Paris to Tokyo, encountered a series of bizarre events when Captain Kenju Terauchi and his crew spotted bright lights shining through the cockpit window. Despite their attempts to communicate with air traffic control and discern the source of the lights, no plausible explanation was found. As the UFO continued to trail the aircraft, military radar recorded the event, further validating the crew's accounts. The encounter left Captain Tarauchi and his crew in awe as they witnessed the UFO's maneuvers mirroring their own. Despite the offer of military assistance, he declined, fearing it could escalate the situation. Ultimately, the UFO vanished from sight shortly after the arrival of a United Airlines passenger jet, leaving behind a lingering sense of wonder and intrigue. The incident stands as one of the well-documented and perplexing UFO encounters in aviation history, adding to the mystery of the Alaska Triangle. JAL Flight 1628, commanded by Captain Kenju Terauchi, was cruising approximately 104 miles northeast of Fort Yukon when the flight controller instructed them to alter their course southward. Following the controller's directive, the co-pilot adjusted the aircraft's heading by about 15 degrees to the left. Meanwhile, Captain Terauchi, seated on the left side of the cockpit, noticed bright lights shining through his window appearing below and to the left of their aircraft. Initially assuming them to be military planes, he paid little heed until he realized they were maintaining pace with their aircraft. Perturbed by this realization, he promptly contacted the Anchorage Center to inquire about any other aircraft in the vicinity. Despite assurances from the Anchorage Center that no other aircraft were present, and no ground radar showed air traffic other than Flight 1628, the lights began moving erratically. Suddenly, they materialized directly in front of the JAL plane, illuminating the cockpit brightly, with Tarauchi feeling the warmth of the UFO's thrusters on his face. Though he and his crew were initially amazed rather than frightened, the massive unidentified aircraft's unexpected appearance struck fear in him prompting him to initiate an evasive operation to avoid it. The UFO weirdly mirrored their every move. While the Anchorage Center controller offered to scramble a military jet, he declined, fearing that the enormous spaceship might interpret such actions as confrontational. Interestingly, when a United Airlines passenger jet entered the area, the UFO promptly vanished. He later recounted the incident, describing the UFO as twice the size of an aircraft carrier, speculating that it might be the mothership of the smaller UFOs encountered previously. As the mystery surrounding Alaska persists, a scientist set out to uncover the truth with rigorous investigation like you've never seen before, John Callahan's investigation. John Callahan, the FAA Division Chief of Accidents and Investigations based in Washington, D.C., received an urgent call from a flight control supervisor stationed in Anchorage. The supervisor informed Callahan that the FAA office in Anchorage was besieged by media inquiries and sought guidance on how to handle the situation. Intrigued, Callahan inquired about the nature of the incident, to which the Anchorage official disclosed that it pertained to a UFO encounter reported a week earlier. In response, 
Callahan instructed his colleague in Anchorage to compile all available data and promptly dispatch it to him in Washington, D.C. He specifically requested radar recordings and transcripts of communications between ground controllers and Captain Troy, the pilot involved in the UFO incident. Additionally, Callahan reached out to the military for their input, but the Air Force declined to share their tapes. Upon receiving the tapes, Callahan carefully reviewed the contents, including a three-way conversation among Anchorage Air Traffic Control ATC, Elmendorf Air Force Base's NORAD Regional Operations Control Center, and Captain Troy of JAL 1628. He also analyzed radar sightings recorded by ATC. Despite the absence of UFOs on ATC radar, Callahan gleaned from the conversation that Elmendorf's advanced radar systems had detected and tracked the UFO's movements. Military controllers reported that the UFOs were maneuvering at incredibly high speeds, swirling around the 747 aircraft for an extended period. One of the most astonishing revelations from Callahan's analysis occurred towards the end of the incident. When a United Airlines flight entered the airspace, Captain Troy could no longer spot the giant UFO. Strangely, the United pilot failed to observe the craft as well. However, military radar clearly indicated that the UFO had positioned itself behind the United flight, closely tailing its path. This perplexing turn of events added another layer of intrigue to the already baffling UFO encounter. At Elmendorf's NORAD Regional Operations Control Center, the United crew remained oblivious to the presence of the unidentified aircraft looming behind them. Meanwhile, Callahan's superior advised him against disclosing the UFO encounter until a scheduled meeting with intelligence and security personnel the following day. This briefing assembled a diverse group including three FBI agents, three CIA agents, and Ronald Reagan's scientific study team, underscoring the gravity of the situation. During the comprehensive presentation by Callahan and his team, they carefully outlined all the evidence collected and provided detailed explanations in response to queries from the attendees. However, upon concluding the meeting, one of the CIA agents imposed a tight vow of secrecy, emphasizing the sensitivity of the matter. This secrecy was underscored by the directive that the meeting was to be regarded as non-existent a secret gathering designed to keep the public unaware. Furthermore, the CIA agents affirmed that the unidentified aerial phenomena observed were not attributable to design bombers or any known military aircraft. Nevertheless, they justified withholding this information from the public, citing concerns about potential widespread panic. In light of the sensitive nature of the UFO incident, precautionary measures were taken including the confiscation of all original voice recordings and radar tapes to maintain classification. Unknown to them, Callahan had carefully retained copies of all the documents in his office, firmly convinced that Captain Tarauchi had indeed witnessed three unidentified flying objects, UFOs, Callahan shared his belief with Reagan's scientific team, who concurred. They concluded that this unique event marked the sole instance of a UFO being captured on radar for such a prolonged duration. Furthermore, in January 1987, mere months after his encounter, Alaska Airlines Flight 53 reported a swiftly moving object on their onboard weather radar while flying at 35,000 feet, approximately 60 miles west of McGrath. Calculations suggested that this UFO was hurtling through the sky at an astonishing speed of 18,000 miles per hour. On January 30, 1987, a U.S. Air Force KC-135 jet en route from Anchorage to Fairbanks also witnessed a huge UFO. However, beyond the recordings of the dialogue between the Air Force crew and Anchorage Center, scant details were divulged about this sighting. Over the years, numerous individuals have reported countless other UFO sightings in the skies over Alaska, although none have been as extensively documented as the sighting by the crew of JAL-1628. Since 1998, more than 560 UFO sightings have been reported in Alaska. 
Moreover, hundreds of people have ventured into the Alaskan wilderness, never to return. Among them was Richard Lyman Griffith, an inventor from Spokane, Washington, who designed a wilderness survival shell. In the summer of 2006, Griffith embarked on a journey to test his invention in the rugged terrain of southeast Alaska. Despite being reported missing a year later, no trace of Griffith or his distinctive bright orange cocoon has ever been found. The perilous nature of mountain climbing in Alaska is also evident, with numerous climbers meeting their demise each year. Unlike most climbers who ascend in groups, solo climbers like Naomi Yura, a renowned Japanese adventurer, often encounter insurmountable challenges. In 1984, she embarked on a solo winter ascent of Denali, the highest peak in North America, but never returned from his descent. Despite extensive searches, no clues about her fate have ever been discovered, leaving his disappearance hidden in mystery. When climbers journey in groups, their fellow adventurers can recount the events if something goes wrong. However, when a climber goes alone and encounters trouble, there's no one to witness or document the unfolding events. Despite successfully reaching the summit on February 13, 1984, she disappeared during the descent. The harsh conditions near the peak, with high winds and temperatures dropping to minus 46 degrees Celsius, provide little margin for error. More recently, on March 7, 2018, experienced climbers R. Johnson and Mark andre Lear failed to return from a climb near Juneau. Searchers discovered clues suggesting their fate, a found anchor rope at the summit, and two climbing ropes midway down a hole. The evidence indicated they ascended successfully, but tragedy struck during their descent, possibly due to an ice fall or equipment failure. Alaska's reputation for disappearances extends beyond climbers to encompass planes and boats, earning it the title of the most mysterious region in the United States. The Alaska Triangle, an area roughly bound by Juneau, Barrow, and Anchorage, has seen numerous unexplained vanishings, fueling theories of supernatural phenomena or hidden dangers. The region's vast wilderness, rugged terrain, and unpredictable weather contribute to its mystery, attracting adventurers and explorers despite the inherent risks. Despite extensive search efforts and investigations, many disappearances remain unsolved adding to the mystique of the Alaska Triangle. The allure of the unknown continues to captivate the imagination, with stories of the region's mysteries permeating folklore and popular culture. Whether it's the call of adventure or the fascination with the unexplained, the Alaska Triangle remains a captivating mystery that beckons explorers and theorists alike. Which of Alaska's mysteries did you find the most shocking? Let us know your thoughts and comments. And if you enjoyed watching this video, Make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel.